All right, say hello to my friends and family. Hello. This Are is you? my friend, Tim Yu. Yay. Yay. Now we're in 31st of December and we're heading to 1st of January 2018. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have Chinese medicine soup. Yeah. Photo that. I will. It smells really nice. Yeah. Hi Chang, Ni Hao everybody and welcome to another vlog. Um, around the new year I went to Taipei, Taiwan to do some sightseeing and to visit some old friends. So I want to tell you all about that. However, because I mainly visited night markets and friends, um, I will focus this video on the night markets only. The one that you see here is in Xilin, that is where my hostel was and I went there together with a hostel buddy, a cool girl that I met there and shared my bunk with. Um, what you see here for example is mm, octopus pancake, no, octopus omelette and so I did try that actually although it was not really my thing. So many tentacles. There was a lot of food to choose from, so I guess I ended up eating too much. Three nights in a row, yes, I went three nights in a row. Here we see rao bao, basically some baozi buns filled with meat. <laughs> Also, near Sheila Night Market, or actually in the middle of it, there was a big, big temple. And uh, I was really overwhelmed by this, even though people were just sitting there eating. Um, I wondered whether I should just go in or not, being uh, the crazy Lawai and all. But I just went, and in the end, like later, I found so many more temples. Taiwan is actually full of them, but um, in China you don't see them so much. So I was really surprised, and I thought they were really, really beautiful, nice on the inside. People were leaving all sorts of cookies and offerings and fruit. Uh, for the gods there and um, perhaps in another video I can show you some more here we have the mushroom guy I do really like my shrooms so I decided to go for it the mushrooms were really really huge and you could get them uh, cooked and fried uh, with some seasoning so very tasty if you ask me Overall, I found that there were many, many stalls selling uh, meat. So I guess if you're a vegan, then Taipei is not really the place to go for you. Personally, I don't really like meat either. I didn't eat that much of it. Not because I don't trust it, but because I'm just not really a meat fan. But there were actually lots of other options as well. Big Mac octopus feet, for example. It was really just super fun to watch all the people in their stalls preparing the foods in different ways. There were so many strange foods that I had never seen or tried before. That's what he was squeezing in there. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, dangerous. Wow, cool. I 
I guess it's also not a great place to go if you are gluten intolerant or lactose intolerant although you know there is a lot to choose from but some of the foods you just don't know what's in them anyway here again we have some robot uh, stand these people they want prizes and they had like an, uh, a big certificate there and they were advertising their Facebook page they put a lot of uh, blood sweat and tears in their food but also a lot of love Okay, I don't know. We'll see what I get. Oh shit. I need it. I need it. No, no, I have exactly 35. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's smelly. And that was stinky tofu. That's now one of my favorite foods, honestly. It's like fermented tofu and then deep fried with some sauerkraut kind of stuff on it and yeah, pretty 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 damn tasty. So, I'll see if they have it in Shanghai and if it is equally good. So, together with my friend Tim, we had some medicinal soup. It had lots of lamb in it. Um, Honestly, watching this, you would never say that I used to be a vegetarian. Um, I did my best <laughs> with the quantity of meat. Okay, oh, so many people. This looks. And we are lined up for that. For that. Okay. I think they're lined up. Oh, is this a line? Uh, Sure. Yeah, For some of the food stalls, there would be a long line, a long queue of people waiting because I guess some of the stalls win prizes or are just really popular. I hope so. I will not support shark fin soup. So, so many fruits. What you see here is mochi. Frozen little mochi balls. I'll get it, okay? Okay. And then we share it. $45. Yeah, I got it. 45? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, you got one. $10 more. Oh, 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 this is R&B. Oh, stupid shit. Remy, me. Remy, me. Who got that red money? Remy. So I accidentally uh, tried to pay with Chinese money here. Frozen mochi. You got a red bean one. But it's cold. <laughs> you don't look happy. Lens. Secret lens okay, like and this. Then, yeah. And we put the secret lens on. And our face becomes smaller. Smaller face, yeah, and bigger yeah. eyes. No. Yeah, and they have like this. You can take a selfie for, <laughs> for the light. Like they have three lights here. Oh my god, this is blinding. This is cool, right? And I had the medicinal soup. Tomorrow I'm gonna be a rock star. <laughs> Do you know this this fruit? No, what is this? It's called sugar apple. Sugar apple. It's like a Buddha's ha head. Like a Buddha's head. Do you want to try this one? Yeah, okay. Hi. It's sweet. It's a fruit. It's so tasty. 
Oh, no. It looks like Brad Pitt, but I think it's not Brad Pitt. I think it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> So yeah, the middle one's yours. Oh, good. Or doesn't it matter? I thought doesn't it matter. Mean, you have to put it the middle oh, one. The middle one. the middle one. <laughs> oh, it's close. It's close. Ah, it's still really close. Oh, two. As you can see, I had a lot of fun with my friend Tim. We did lots of cool things, even though we just had a short time. And later that evening, we went to a park because we wanted to go to Taipei 101 to see the fireworks. Of course, we were not the only ones. New Year's Eve, Matilda came to say, Tim you with your face so bright, Yay. please don't fall asleep at the library okay. tonight. <laughs> 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 or just don't fall, period. <laughs> On the way back, it was crazy actually to go down the metro with all of these people. And we also had to stand and wait for a while, but it was totally worth it because fireworks like these you just don't see every day. Here we have Sun Yatsun, man on the hundred dollar bill. Yay. <laughs> Yay! Time for fireworks. The <laughs> baby <laughs> will fly <laughs> away. <laughs> 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 So this here is the tower, Taipei 101. Eight, seven, six, four, six, five, were amazing. This guy in front of me, by the way, has ridiculous hair. I'm only noticing this now. Anyway, what a gorgeous sight. And oh, this is my cue here. It's time to round it off. Well, guys, I hope you all have a lovely 2018. To all of you. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time.